love their films, but from a branding standpoint, I always thought it was kind of suspect how to anybody watching their movies after 2001. It seems like the corporation is admitting that they're behind the times. So ladies, quick question for a friend. Say you love the guy and he loved you back and not like that fake love on reality TV shows either, but the real love you find on fake TV shows. Now pretend the dude was so sprung that he spent his income tax on a jewelry present for you. Okay, let's say hypothetically speaking, he becomes a byproduct of a disaster gone wrong that makes him look like cold caca. A, do you give him back the jewelry? Yes or no? And if yes, question letter B, is it okay for him to give the jewelry to the next random woman he meets in a bar? Anyways, back to the January of the movie. There's this girl with a vagina made of magnets and she's stuck between two guys with peni made of metal. On one side, her romantic relationship with her boss is coming to an end. On the other hand, she's got a thing for mullets. So she starts falling for the scientist she's working with. It's been said that a mullet alone could get you from like first or second base. But if you're trying to slide into home, both of you might have to get tipsy first. Despite her ex-boyfriend having a steady job and reliable income, she keeps falling deeper and deeper in love with the scientist dude, despite the lack of on-screen chemistry. It's like freaking witchcraft because the science boy knows all the right things to say or do to get her to remove her undergarments. And despite them not being an official couple, the trust level is over 9,000 and he allows her to spend most of her free time at his home slash laboratory. Hashtag relationship goals. Personally, I'm cool with being a roommate to anybody. I only have two rules. Number one, I take the bed, you take the sofa. Because the way my back is set up, dot, dot, dot. And the second number, I'd ask that you exhibit a Jehovah Witnessian approach when it comes to closed doors and knock before entering, please. It's like my dad used to always say, don't knock and you just might see a cock. I'm beginning to see why the chick dumped her boss. He's really weird. When regular people get jealous, we handle our problems on social media. With him, he turns into a James Bond villain and starts overacting and stuff. Back to the scientist guy, it's here in his apartment slash lab that he explains to the chick that he's created this machine that successfully takes matter from here to there or whatever and wants to test it by putting people in the pod. The invention shows promise but is still in the early stages. After someone he cares about storms out of his apartment, he decides to move to human trials and test it on himself. It sounds crazy but there are far more sci-fi events that occur in this movie so I don't blame the guy for stretching his imagination. For example, characters in this film have side effects that include increased strength, heightened reflexes from time to time, and in fact all that's missing is four matching uniforms and you'd have yourself a regular old superhero origin story. Nonetheless, a huge question remains on whether or not the first human trial was successful. Dude looks at the chick like, you think it worked? The Michael Jackson thriller music. <laughs> and the chick's like, nah bruh. When he steps out of the pod, his face looks all messed up and I can't even imagine how hard it's going to be when he has to shave that thing. News of these phenomena start leaking into the press, but the scientists and the lady both agree that now isn't the right time to share their story with the world. Later on, the ex-boyfriend decides that violence is the answer and buys a gun and plans on shooting up the new boyfriend's apartment, but then the ugly as hell character is all like, it's clobbering time, and falls from the ceiling and hates on the ex-boyfriend guy. At the end of the movie, the ex-boyfriend starts melting, which seems bad at first, but is it though? Dude literally burned a lot of calories without having to order breakfast from a Panera Bread menu. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so. If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <gasps>